Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to 5TV1's coverage of the 2020 Hall of Fame Cup, the Elite Eight. Here at the Powerplex in St. John's, Newfoundland, Labrador. My name is Steve Power, and I will have the call of this morning's semi-final matchup. The Gonzaga Vikings in white going to be tangling with the O'Donnell Patriots in green here at the Parsons Gymnasium at the Powerplex this morning. And we are off. Miguel Bunnan. He goes to the hoop, he will draw the foul right away. Good quick drive there and he will go to the line to shoot two. Miguel Bonlian. Quick start for Gonzaga. And their young coach Kyle Kareen taking the charges of the Vikings this year, having a pretty good season thus far. Gets the friendly roll on the first one and Gonzaga find themselves up by three here early on. O'Donnell down the floor now. Here's Travis Leg. Leg puts the ball to the floor, drives hard to the rim. Good defense there by Gonza's number eight, Ibe Uda. Uda in transition, comes down, throws one in, can't get it up and under from the hands of Hashem Khalifa. Khalifa coming back the other way for Gonzaga now. Sorry for O'Donnell. In transition, Travis Leg knocks it down for a couple. The Vikings. Back on the attack, Von Lien into Uda. Uda, ball to the floor, Ivy Uda. Outside, wide open three point shot there. That one doesn't fall from the hands of Matt Torville, and away come the Patriots. It's Leg, Leg the main ball handler that we can see so far here for O'Donnell. One thing you to be careful here, folks, the whistles. We've got four games, four semifinal games simultaneous being played here. So you will hear whistles from different sides. And players sort of tune it out. They've, they've got to figure it out here at the power, power flex. But sometimes for us here at home, we think we hear a whistle and we don't. Gonzaga now back to the attack. Torville kicks one outside. Open look there from the hands of Ben Oliver. That shot won't fall. So neither team finding their mark from outside here early on in this one this morning. Semi-final action winners will move on to play at the old Mun Gym. The Mun Seahawks gym this afternoon is where the power championship game of the Hall of Fame Cup will be taking place. Open look in the corner there. That one's not going to fall. That's a long shot from Connor Nash. And away comes Uda. Uda in transition. Nice layup. Good pass there to Ian Shears. Sorry, that was Matt Torville. Torville finds the bucket. Ball kicked down the floor. That's going to be a turnover there. And that's going to go back one over to the Vikings. First substitution coming in the game. We'll get our first look at it. Gabriel Trickett for O'Donnell. O'Donnell on the inbounds now. Trickett will take it. Going to kick it way outside. Long shot there from the buzzer. And that one's not going to fall. Uda sees a little open space in the lane. Ibe Uda takes it in. Can't get it to follow. Good defense there by O'Donnell's number eight. Shot from the outside from leg. Not going to fall again. Not sure if either team have hit a shot from the outside yet in this one. And the score shows it. It is 5-2 here. Favor of the Vikings. Tough shot there. Uda inside for the layup. Great job there by Hashem Khalifa, but he can't get it to fall. And away comes Connor Backcock. Backcock, he's under some pressure in there. Backcock steps out of bounds. The O'Donnell staff looking for the foul. The referee says, no, sir. He stepped on the line. And out of bounds is the call. Vikings will take over. Here comes Gonzaga, Uda, Uda, little body work goes inside, big defense there, nice rejection by Travis Leg of O'Donnell. Ball turned over again, it's a turnover fest here this morning. Uda throws one up and in, great play there by the Gonzaga Vikings, Ibe Uda, finishing that one off. 
Gonzaga looking for the quick strike and transition. Couldn't find it. But the Patriots will maintain possession. Ball's kicked out to Connor Badcock. Back for leg. Leg had an open look there. Got his man to go in the air and he drew some contact. So the foul will go against the Vikings. The O'Donnell ball on the inbounds. 6.38 left to go here in this opening quarter. Gonzaga. Up by five here early on. Another foul call. Gonna have some substitutions checking into the game for the Vikings now. Coach Kyle Kareen imploring with the refs, trying to say he's pushing off. And as it is in the game of basketball, there's more political lobbying going on the stage here this morning than there is with our friends in the south on CNN. Ball inbounded. O'Donnell's kicks it to the inside now for. Here it is. Outside shot, wide open three, and that one's going to fall. Finally, Gabriel Trickett hits from the outside for the O'Donnell Patriots. That brings the lead to two. Good transition basket there. Gonzaga's Matt Torville comes back all the way, and Torville's going to knock it down for the layup. Press being applied by Gonzaga. O'Donnell beats that, brings the ball up over half court. Here come the Patriots, Connor Nash now. Nash kicks it inside. Back outside for Nash. Nash distributing the ball to Trick in the corner. Trick at the hot hand, and he knocks it down for three again. And the O'Donnell Patriots take the lead. O'Donnell looking for the charging foul, but that's going to be called a block. Gonzaga will get the ball in underneath the basket. 9-8 here, 5.36 left to go. O'Donnell up by one. Uda on the outside. Uda's over for three. That ball's going to fall a little short and trick it. Will pull down the rebound. O'Donnell in transition. Can't get that one up and off the basket. Good rebound there, second chance opportunity. Bounce, bounce, and in from Connor Badcock. The Patriots extend their lead. Uda, Uda finds a little separation there. He's gonna get the friendly roll. And Ibe Uda brings the Vikings back to within one. Trickett, not much of a slow pace here this morning. As soon as the ball hits the floor, these kids are going. There's a wide open shot from the outside. That one's not going to fall. Ibe Uda will pull down the rebound for Gonzaga. Over for Matt Torville. Torville showing some good hands in the paint. Torville gets fouled. And that one is going to go to the side for the Gonzaga Vikings. Both teams committing three team fouls here. In this opening corner, a little bit of a physical fair, but a very, very fast ball game here at the Powerplex this morning. Checking into the game for Gonzaga now is number 15, Russell Noseworthy. He along with Nathan Childs. Gonzaga subs coming in, they do a good job right away as Colin Connors knocks that one down for two. Back and forth game, Gonzaga back in the lead. Patriots to the outside, here's Trickett, Trickett. He was two for two from beyond the arc. Couldn't knock that one down. And here come the Vikings. Miguel Bunlin, Bunlin. He's gonna get his second trip to the line. Very first drive of the game, Bunlin went in and drove hard and he got to the line. Now he will get there again, this time for two shots and not the M1. Bunlin sets up shop, he will sink the first. Gonzaga in the lead, now here's O'Donnell, back to the offense. Ball's gonna be kicked to the outside. 
for Cam O'Halloran. O'Halloran inside, that goes in the paint, and that one's not going to fall. We had a foul call on the play against O'Donnell on the offensive side. Gonzaga will take it out. Here come the Vikings. Ball handlers Bunlam. Miguel, number two, Miguel Bunlam for Gonzaga. Kicks from the outside. There's a wide open look for three. Nice stroke there from the hands of Nathan Childs. And Childs is going to knock that one down. Gonzaga opening up a six point lead here right now. Can't get that one to drop. Another chance for Gonzaga. Gonzaga trying to put some distance here now between themselves and O'Donnell in this first quarter of play. Outside, now it's gonna be up top. That was looked like a travel and it indeed was. Traveling is the call on Ben Oliver. That'll be a turnover for Gonzaga. Coach Carl Kareen didn't like that one, but that was clearly a travel there. Gonzaga really going hard on the press. Speaking of a travel, got away with one there. There's a long shot for three. Rebounded by the Patriots. Trick it. Outside, trick it. Nice stroke there, but couldn't get it to fall. Ben Oliver is going to take it for the Vikings. Oliver now back down the floor. Kicks it outside to Matt Torville. Torville going through. We got a charging call this time. Good defense there. And a great take by number 12, Cam O'Halloran of the O'Donnell Patriots. Substitutes coming in the game on both sides now. Both coaches doing a great job here working the lads into the lineup. Connor Backcock driving hard. Backcock kicks it outside to a nice pass for Cam O'Halloran. So Halloran doing it on defense and offense for his Patriots. Torville, Torville trapped underneath. He turns it over. Away comes O'Donnell. 2.25 left to go. 17-12 in favor of Gonzaga. That pass is a little errant to the outside. Good catch there by Trickett. Out for Backcock. Backcock in with the left hand, switches in motion, and a nice drive down the lane for Connor Backcock. Back to back baskets for the Patriots, bringing them back into this one. Here's Torville. Torville. Not much room there. He, out, he almost got these pocket picked, and it's going to be a jump ball. Good hands there by Brady O'Neill. Getting in and getting some hands on that ball. Substitution on the Gonzaga side. Colin Connors is going to come out of the game. And that will bring in Hashim Khalifa. Patriots bring the ball up the floor. Backcock couldn't handle that pass. Khalifa turns one over, throws one down the corner for Torville. Torville out for Ben Oliver. Now Oliver going to stop and try to set up the offense here for Gonzaga. And for Khalifa. Khalifa on the outside. Pass there for Nathan Childs. Childs going to kick it out to over. Play ball call. Gonzaga is going to have to move something. Good quick steal there. And O'Donnell with an easy open break here. Left-handed layup finished in style by the Patriots number 12, Cam O'Halloran. He's got back-to-back -back buckets for O'Donnell. One point ball game once again. Torville in the paint. Torville throws one up. Torville can't get it to roll though. But big rebound there by big number four, Andrew De, De Gerga for the Vikings. O'Donnell now in transition. Brings the ball in the paint. Got to lay it up. Outside shot. That's only going to be for two, but that one's nowhere close from the hands of Connor Backcock. Away comes Torville and the Vikings. Torville now going to stop, settle down, try to get the offense going. Torville walks around one. Torville drives the lane. Torville can't beat the side of the basket there, though. Trickett picks up the rebound for Backcock. Backcock pushing pedal to the middle. Backcock to the inside. Nice pass there for O'Halloran. O'Halloran steps out for three. Can't knock it down, though. And Gonzaga will pick it up and come to half court for Torville. Torville in the lane. Good drive there. Actually, great drive there by Matt Torville and knocking down a bucket for Gonzaga. Long shot from the buzzer. 
That's going to do it. First quarter in the books. The Gonzaga Vikings 21. The O'Donnell Patriots 16. Watching the Hall of Fame Cup, the Elite Eight. Live from the Powerplex on 5 TV1. Second quarter underway here at the Powerplex. Gonzaga with a five point lead after one. Good transition buckets. Not much for the outside shooting in that opening quarter. Both teams making hay underneath the basket. Here's O'Halloran. O'Halloran loses the handle on that one. And we're gonna have a foul call here. O'Halloran might have been a little fortunate on that one. Looked like he was just losing the handle, but Gonzaga called with some contact. And it'll be O'Donnell Ball. Patriots Trickett's on the inbounds. Trickett puts the ball in the hands of Brady O'Neill. O'Neill back for Backock. Backock drive. Backock a lot of contact there. And that one's going to go against Khalifa. Gonzaga's got a big lineup on the floor here now. A noted size advantage here for the Vikings. Big Andrew DeGurga underneath the basket for Gonzaga. Nice inbounds play for O'Halloran. O'Halloran outside for Nash. Trickett for three. Trickett's drawn a little cold. Now he hit his first two offerings. A.J. Nash gets the rebound, keeps it alive for Gonzaga. O'Halloran almost got his pocket picked, and indeed he did get his pocket picked. Although going in off balance, then was Russell Noser, good defense, couldn't transfer to the offense. A.J. Nash, good drive into the basket, and he'll get the hoop and the harm for big old number eight of O'Donnell, A.J. Nash, with a great finish there for the Patriots. Opportunity for him to bring O'Donnell into within a bucket now, trying to complete the M1. That one will fall. Gonzaga now bring the ball back up the floor. Second quarter action. Semifinals here at the Hall of Fame Cup. Vikings. Kick to the outside now for Nosery. Nosery goes back all the other way for Matt Bunlean. Bunlean shot. That's not going to fall. Connor Backcock grabs the rebound. Backcock trying to dribble out of trouble. Puts the ball up in the hands of Brady O'Neill. O'Neal steps by one man. O'Neal floater off the glass. A nice bucket there for Brady O'Neal. And that's going to knock this one up at 21. Back and forth they go here at the Powerplex this morning. Fun in. In for Ibe Uda. Uda down in the corner. That's not going to go. Kicks it back outside. Uda open for three. Ibe Uda knocking it down from three point land. Getting it done for the Vikings. Wide open player underneath, Trickett. Trickett couldn't pick up that pass. Ball was in the hands of big number 13, Russell Corbett, and he elected to pass underneath the basket. O'Donnell on the inbounds, gonna find Connor Backcock on the outside. Backcock drives in the lane. Outside for Corbett, Corbett, long shot for three. That one's not gonna fall, Nosery. 
puts the ball down, finds Ibe Uda. Uda into the paint, Uva steps up, can't get the shot the ball. Good rebound there by Dorguga. And just seen a little earlier, big Andrew Gorduga, hard to handle for O'Donnell. Nash trying to push the pace a little. A.J. Nash underneath the rim. Nash pushes out, gets some space, wide open look, not gonna fall though. Nash grabs his own rebound, back for Badcock. Out for Nash, Nash from way outside. He can't get it, O'Donnell grabbing every rebound there is though. Brady O'Neill gonna take a shot from the outside. That's not gonna fall. Jump ball going to be called here, but O'Donnell getting three and four shots in one offensive set. Substitutions coming in. Frantic pace to start this second quarter indeed. It's going to be O'Donnell ball once again. Possession arrow goes in favor of the Patriots. Back up. Outside for Trickett. Trickett for three. Trickett can't get that one to fall. Rebound grabbed by Khalifa. Put the ball in the hands of Torville now. Torville. O'Donnell just missed six shots consecutively there. But they have got the rebound five times. Here's Gonzaga from the outside. That one's going to fall short. Connor Badcock's going to pull down the rebound here for O'Donnell. Badcock. Oh, for Connor Nash now into the game. Nash kicks one to the other side. Connor back, I thought about putting it up. He's gonna pull it back outside for AJ Nash. Nash for a long three-point shot. That one's not gonna fall. Rebound grabbed by Gonzaga. Torville, wide open player underneath the basket. A little up and under play there. And a nice finish by Miguel Van Leon. And that's gonna cause a timeout to be called for O'Donnell. 6.24 left to go. 28-21 in favor of Gonzaga. Back to the action here, O'Donnell now on the inbound, down by seven, they've been down by seven before though, and they've done a good job coming back. Not sure how that wasn't a backcourt violation, but nonetheless, the Gonzaga Vikings in transition, good defense turns to offense. And Nathan Childs knocks down a bucket for the Vikings, extending their lead. 10 second violation called. Gonzaga stifling defense. That's another turnover. And there's something interesting going on. Torville trying to get some space here. He's being wrapped up pretty good by Connor Nash. Torville finally with the ball. Torville kicks it to the outside. Child says, why not? I'm wide open, puts it down. And he just got dumped. Afterwards, no foul called on the play. This game is getting pretty tangly here now. Charging call the other way. AJ Nash getting tagged. Ben Oliver takes the charge. And Nash a little bit frustrated with that call. He's gonna go back and have his chat with his coach about it. He's okay, Oliver's okay. And away comes Gonzaga now. Torville, Torville. Gonna bring it on the floor, Torville kicks it outside, back into the hands of Torville. Here's Torville from way outside for three. Matt Torville knocks it down for Gonzaga. And that's a killer of a shot. Gonzaga with their biggest lead of the day. 
Another turnover. Good defense there. Colin Connors in for Torville. Torville takes contact, but gets the bucket anyway. And timeout called once again by Gon by O'Donnell. Gonzaga are starting to make their move. 35, 21, 514 left to go. Watching the Hall of Fame Cup on five TV one. Gonzaga looking to pick up right where they left off with strong defense, and right away you can see they are pressing O'Donnell everywhere. Backcock. So now for O'Halloran, back for Backcock. O'Donnell in good shape now. They've broken that press. They're up back up to the offense. Trick it outside for O'Halloran. O'Halloran gets a screen, a little bit of room outside for Backcock. Backcock for three. That one's way off the mark, though. And Ivy Uda. Gonna bring it down the floor. Uda, that's gonna be the charge. Good defense there. By O'Donnell's Cam O'Halloran. O'Halloran got there and he took the charge. Uda gonna check out now. Back into the game for the Vikings comes Nathan Childs. Gonzaga got some pretty deep players here in this Vikings team. They can make substitutions in and out with ease. There's a backcourt violation. Oh boy, that one's missed, but Torville on the steal and it's gonna be an open layup for the Vikings. Miguel Van Leon. He takes that one. Just one of those phantom whistles we were talking about earlier. Kids thought the whistle was gone in this dream, but it wasn't. Colin Connors with the steal. Out for Oliver. Oliver in transition, Gonzaga. Looking for a killer bucket here. Going to be a double dribble call, a carry, carryover call against the Vikings. And that's going to turn the ball over to O'Donnell. O'Donnell has not scored a bucket in quite some time now. They need to get back onto the offense. Here's Nash, A.J. Nash, just the man they need to get that bucket outside for leg, leg. Off the bucket, can't get it to drop though. Connors with the rebound, but that one's stolen by Nash. Ball gets chipped out of bounds though, but it still will stay in possession of the Vikings. Torville puts the ball in the hands of Miguel Bunlian. This is a big lineup on the floor now, on the backcourt. Torville and Bunlian, two great point guards here for Gonzaga. Bunlian. On the inside, pass, good one it was indeed, and a better finish by Andrew DeGurga of the Vikings. Nash, pass inside for O'Halloran, O'Halloran moves one to an open man, nice left-handed layup there, and that's the first point for Donald quite some time. Zach Hanlon putting him on the board. Torville, kicking one outside, wide open shot for three, that one's not gonna fall. Ball kicks over the top of the backboard and will fall out of bounds. See, 317 left to go. A big 16 point lead here in favor of the Vikings. And Gonzaga once again not letting up on the defense. They are pressing the ball everywhere. Nash outside for. Backcock, Backcock in the leg, leg comes through, leg trying to force one off. He gets fouled, so that'll send leg to the free, free, free throw line. 
Lake will get up and try to put two more on the board here for the Patriots. Travis Lake now. Patriots down by 16. Got to start to chip away at that one here in the last couple of minutes of this first half. Leg makes the first. Leg will step up and knock down number two. Von Leon now. Von Leon into the hands of Torville. Torville for Gonzaga. Looks like O'Donnell playing a little bit of a zone here now. Outside for Oliver. Oliver drives baseline. Oliver up and underneath. Good basket there by Ben Oliver for the Vikings. And right away you see Gonzaga, they do not let off on defense. A.J. Nash saw the press coming. Smartly moved the ball across for Backcock. Backcock, Nash, Nash, good job there. Nash using his body trying to draw the foul and he does so. A.J. Nash gonna go to the line to shoot two. Forty-one twenty-five, two twenty-three left to go. And AJ Nash gonna go to the line. Gets a little bit of a hometown roll on the first one. He'll get that one to drop. Nash knocks down number two for O'Donnell. Here's Buntley in now. Gonzaga back to the offense into the hands of Torville. Matt Torville, he's had a game here for the Vikings. He's going to get charged with the traveling violation on that one now, though. That'll be turnover for O'Donnell. So O'Donnell getting their chances back. They just got to put some ball through the hoop here. They are getting some opportunities. Leg down the floor. Leg's going to try to go coast to coast. Nice pass inside the key. Wide open Zach Hanlon. Hanlon couldn't get it to drop, though. Gonzaga back in transition and Hanlon is going to commit the foul. Andrew Dugurga going to come back in the game. Matt Torville checking out, so Gonzaga going bigger. Here right now, their back quarter will be Bunley and Oliver. Here's Oliver. Oliver in for Bunley and Connor Nash. Doing a good job on defense there, but Nash eventually a little bit too aggressive there. Connor Nash, a very good defender, but he does get tied up a little bit, and that's going to be Gonzaga ball. And in fact, Miguel Bonlean going to go to the line to shoot two again. Forty-two twenty-seven. Make that forty-three in favor of the Vikings. Cody O'Halloran going to check into the game now. And our first opportunity to see number eleven, Cody O'Halloran for O'Donnell. Brady O'Neill trying to beat the press. O'Neill got tall with the travel. He got caught going in mid-air, and O'Donnell has no answer for this. Press being offered by Gonzaga right now. Miguel Bunley, number two for the Vikings in the hands for Oliver. Oliver trying to find a little daylight. Pass underneath. Open look under the basketball. Rebound by Travis Leg. Leg pulls it down for O'Donnell. Leg going to try to push the pace down the floor. Ran into a white wall. Now Leg finds the open look and Leg goes in and takes the layup. Good presence of mind there by O'Donnell's Travis Lake. Oliver now for the Vikings. Here's Ben Oliver. Oliver up underneath. He drives, he can't get the bucket, but he will draw the foul. Ben Oliver gonna go to the line. Final minute of this opening half. Vikings in control.
Oliver from the line. He'll step up and put a little liquid Drano on that first one. He'll knock it down. Oliver now resets, trying to go for number two. And will certainly do so. Drive his leg. Pushing the ball down the floor. Leg runs on a big wall of white Vikings. It's ball over to Connor Backcock. Backcock outside for O'Neill. In for O'Halloran in the corner. O'Halloran, nice bucket there for O'Donnell. Cody O'Halloran getting on the board. Score Guga. De Gerga outside for Khalifa. Khalifa can't knock it down, though. Good pass there by Andrew De Gerga. And Khalifa couldn't knock that one down. Here's A.J. Nash. Nash coming up against four white jerseys underneath. Grabs the rebound, and he will get the foul. Good stick to itiveness there by Nash. And he'll go to the line to shoot two with 22.5 seconds. And team's actually in the bonus now. Nash can't find the mark on the first shot. Go to the line now for number two. O'Donnell only with one player in the paint for the rebound. And Nash comes up empty on both shots there. See Coach Kyle Kareem trying to employ his charges, settle down, run the offense. And that's what Bunlan's doing. Outside for Oliver, back in the heads of Bunlan. Wide open three point shot. That one's not going to fall though. Brady O'Neill grabs the rebound. Only two seconds left. Leg from half court puts it up. Not going to fall. First half in the books. The Gonzaga Vikings in control. They lead by a score of 45 31. We'll be back second half of this Hall of Fame Cup Elite Eight semifinal game from the Powerplex on 5 TV1.
second half underway, and that's gonna pick up right where the first left off. Gonzaga going to the quick score. Here in this one, semifinal action, Hall of Fame Cup. Score check on the other side. They're still in the first half of that one. The Holy Heart Highlanders with a slim five point lead over the Waterford Valley Warriors. Waterford Valley really hanging in tight over there against the number one ranked Holy Heart team. AJ Nash gonna go to the foul line here, trying to score some points. Nash having a tough day from the stripe. He's missed his last three. There's Nash. Nash can't quite get the roll. Challenge on the rebound though. Ibe Uda pulls it down for Gonzaga. Uda outside for Torville now, Torville. For Uda. Uda for Oliver. Here's Oliver. Oliver kicks it back for Uda. Good defense here by O'Donnell. Not giving up any open looks. Torville, nice pass underneath for Khalifa. And Gonzaga just working that ball around, letting it do its magic. Here this morning at the power plants. Here's Travis Leg now for O'Donnell. Leg to the paint. Leg drives. Leg can't get it to fall though. Good rebound by Connor Badcock. Badcock turns, fires. Nash comes in. He can't get it. Nash. Picks the pocket of Khalifa. Back off for Leg. Outside now, Leg tops, settles things down, comes to the outside. Here's Leg up off the glass. See, that one's not gonna fall. Khalifa just took a shot to the jaw there. And Nash can't believe that call, but that was a pretty easy call there for the official. Miguel Bunlean, he's gonna bring it down the floor here now for Gonzaga, out for Oliver, back to Bunlean. Moves it outside for Uda. Bunlean in for Torva. Torva, top of the key, Torva outside for Oliver. Oliver, play ball call. They're gonna have to get one up pretty soon. Uda takes it on himself, goes in, drives the hoop, can't get it to fall though. O'Halloran's gonna bring it down for O'Donnell. O'Halloran in for Badcock. Badcock, nice basket there. He goes up and under in transition, and Connor Badcock putting the Patriots on the board. Shot there from Torville from the foul line. That one's not gonna fall. Outside for Uda. Ibe Uda, he can't get the foul. Torville with the rebound. Good job there by Torville. Can't get in there though. And he will commit the foul. He got wrapped up with AJ Nash a little bit there. It's gonna be O'Donnell Ball. Brady O'Neill now for the Patriots. O'Neill bringing the ball up the floor with some relative ease. Corville with a little bit of a feigned defense there. O'Neill kicks it to the corner. Wide open O'Halloran. O'Halloran can't get it to fall though. That one's gonna go out of bounds. That'll be last touch by the Patriots. It'll be Gonzaga ball. A stark difference in the way both teams defend. O'Donnell going right back in the zone right away, whereas Gonzaga pressure all over the floor. Ooh, out of Oliver now. Here's Oliver, Oliver in for Torville. Torville kicks one outside. Into the hands of Miguel Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen pulls up and drops it. And Gonzaga extend their lead again. Job there by O'Donnell coming back in transition. 51 35 the score here. Gonzaga still in pretty good control. Uda. Outside in for Miguel Bunlean. Bunlean, long three point shot. That one's not going to fall. And O'Halloran grabs the rebound here for the Patriots. O'Halloran. In for Backcock. Backcock just trying to throw one up. Draws a little contact. Not sure if that's going to be a shooting foul. I believe the official Gerard Bryan indicating yes, indeed it is. So that's going to send Connor Backcock to the line for the Patriots. Backcock. That's a bit of a brick up there, number one. That one's going to fall short. 
back. Cox stops, resets, and he'll knock down number two. Bunley for Torville. Matt Torville. Torville, nice drive down to Belkett. Matt Torville with a great drive and an even equally more impressive finish on that one. O'Neill back for O'Halloran. O'Halloran up over half court. O'Halloran into the corner for Trickett. Trickett for three. And Trickett finding that stroke he had in the first half. He knocks that one down for three. Here's Uda. Ibe Uda. Kicks from the outside for Oliver. Oliver. He draws a foul, and that's going to be a charging foul against Ben Oliver. Good job there by Cam O'Halloran. Alvo down low. Halloran's done that a couple of times. You can see on the inside, he will draw that foul. Referee says, let's come back and do that again with me putting the ball in bounds. And there we go, all proper and prim. Here's Backcock now. Backcock. A.J. Nash in the key. Nash trying to make something out of nothing, and it's tough to do. He ends up committing the traveling violation. Substitutions on the floor trying to come into the game is Childs. Nathan Childs is coming in. He's going to take out Ibe Uda. One lane. Coming down the floor now for the Gonzaga Vikings. Gonzaga in control here by a score of 53-39. Long shot, that one's gonna drop from Ben Oliver. That one falls for Gonzaga. Spins, fires, Pritchett. Got away with some contact there, knocks it down, but A.J. Nash is there to pick it up for the Patriots. 55-41, Torville, wide open bucket there, great pass in the hands of Colin Connors. Connors knocks that one down. Defense by Childs, Childs on a turnover for Torville. Torville, good pass again, but an offensive charge once again called, and it's Cam O'Halloran taking that one again. O'Halloran's done a great job defensively for the O'Donnell Patriots. 4.56 left to go in this third quarter. But the Patriots, an uphill to climb here to get some points on the board. Backcock into the hands of Nash. Nash back for Backcock. Backcock, a little bit of an off-balance shot there. That one's not going to drop. Rebound grabbed by Childs. Childs puts in the hands of Oliver. Oliver back down the floor here for O'Donnell. In for Childs. Childs trying to drive into the paint. Childs can't do it. And that ball is going to be stripped out of bounds, but that will be old Donald Ball. Andrew DeGerga coming back into the game now. Love how Gonzaga trans transitions. They, they go big to small pretty seamlessly. They don't mind substituting power forwards for guards at all. Here's O'Neill. O'Neill trying to find a little daylight. Kicks it out for Trickett. Trickett for three. Can't knock it down, though, as Andrew DeGerga pulls down the rebound. But leaning up for Oliver. Here's Oliver. Out for Bunleyan. Bunleyan drives, puts it through, gets it up, and knocks it down. He'll go to the line again. Diego Bunleyan's had very, very successful day driving the basket and getting to the line for the Vikings. Diego steps up and he will finish the AM1 and gets Gonzaga to 60 here. Still four minutes left to go in this third quarter. So Gonzaga putting up a ton of points. Ibe Uda, he strips it at half court and Uda comes in, knocks it down and it's gonna have to be a timeout here. O'Donnell gotta try to figure out a way to stop the bleeding here in the semifinal. Gonzaga 62, O'Donnell 41. Watching the Hall of Fame Cup on five TV one.
Ready to go here, seems to be an issue over by the O'Donnell bench, maybe some water spilled on the floor. Although we see A.J. Nash walking off with one of the coaches. Could be a, yeah, as A.J. Nash's knee is skinned up pretty bad, they've got to tape that thing up. Here's leg down for O'Donnell. Leg comes out into that half court press. It's gonna be a foul call against Colin Connors there. Connor Nash on the inbounds. And actually that's gonna send them to the line. They're in the bonus. So O'Donnell gonna get to the line and shoot a couple for free here. So Travis Leg gonna step up to the charity strike now. Having a free one. Leg makes the first. Stepping up for number two, and he'll put a little bit of liquid Drano on that one and knock it down for O'Donnell. Ibe Uda. For Gonzaga, Uda. Knocking it down, looking like it's gonna be another Gonzaga Holy Heart. Final here at the Hall of Fame Cup. The number one and two ranked teams, both in pretty good control in their semifinal games. Here we've got Gonzaga up by a 62-43 score. And having a little peek on the other side, looks like Holy Heart have opened up a big lead in their game as well, 64-39 over Waterford Valley. Waterford Valley were hanging in tough there for a while on that one. Championship game. Well, this Hall of Fame Cup going to be brought to you live here by 5TV1. That's going to be at the old Mun Gym. Memorial Seahawks old stomping grounds at Memorial University. We will be there and we will have the coverage of both the ladies and men's championship games of this 2020 Hall of Fame Cup. O'Donnell getting their opportunities to get some free points here at the line, though. Gonzaga with a couple of quick fouls. Clock is barely moved. And Connor Nash now going to go to the line here for O'Donnell. Can't knock down the free one. Nash will hit number two. Torville back in the game now. Matt Torville for Gonzaga. Torville under some pressure way to way. O'Donnell looked to be changing tactics a little bit. Torville from outside for three. That one's nowhere near. A.J. Nash pulls that one down. In for Trickett. Trickett, open layup. Trickett knocks it down. And we got a delay of game warning going to go against O'Donnell here as A.J. Nash touched that ball after it was knocked down. Gonzaga. Back to the floor, Torville for Oliver. Oliver, back outside for Torville. Torville, corner for Nosworthy, back for Oliver. Oliver to Torville. Torville now in the inside. Trying to find Childs. Childs up underneath. Childs with a lovely little finger roll there. And it looked like O'Donnell did everything they could right on that play, but Nathan Childs with a strong move to the basket, and he'll knock it down for the N1. Childs misses, rebound, grabbed by Gonzaga though. Ben Oliver. Oliver moves it across for Torville. Torville in for Childs. Childs. Up under, Charles couldn't get that one dropping. O'Donnell finally will pull it away. Foul gonna be called there. AJ Nash was upset on that one. Nash gonna get to the free throw line, gotta think. Foul call against Gonzaga. Still two and a half minutes left, so lots of trips to the free throw line could be had here. And it could be interesting to see how many guys might be getting close to being in some foul trouble here in this one. 
Nash can't make the first one from the line. AJ Nash looks like a great player, but you want to find a chink in the armor. It could be the free throw shooting. Certainly not helping him today. Nash will make the second one from the line, knocks it down. O'Donnell trying to chip away. Here's Nosery. Nosery draws the foul again, and guess who but Cody O'Halloran again draws the charging foul. That's at least the fourth one today. Russell Nosery, the latest victim. Connor Nash now. He's going to bring the ball up the floor for the Patriots. Nash over half court for O'Neill. O'Neill kicks it over Trickett. Trickett, three point shot. Trickett gets it to go. And we're trying to figure out if that basket's going to count or not. Yes, yes, indeed, the basket did count. Trying to confer with the officials now whether it was a three point shot or a two. It was a three, there's no doubt it was a three. I'm gonna put it up on my scoreboard as a three. Now Donald to the line again, it's gonna be Nash. Nash knocks that one down. Gonzaga letting O'Donnell probably sneak back into this one. As O'Donnell really getting to put lots of points up from the line. 12 is the lead. Nash fouled again. It's going to be Dorgurga. AJ Nash going to go to the line once again. Chance to knock this down to 10. And dare I say it, folks, if, uh, if O'Donnell were hitting their shots from the foul line, they'd be probably within four or five points here. Nash trying to get the friendly roll on that one. He will get it to drop. 11-point ball game. Timeout Gonzaga. Gonzaga coach going to have a little chat. 64-53 Gonzaga Vikings over the O'Donnell Patriots here in the semifinal of this 2020 Hall of Fame Cup. Timeout in the books. Let's see what changes we'll see out of the Vikings. This change could be simple. Knockoff foul in the Patriots. They've been given the Patriots free opportunity for points. Here's Torville now. Torville into the paint. Torville under lots of pressure. Going to be a jump ball violation called. Good job by O'Donnell on defense. O'Donnell really turned it up on defense. Connor Nash, a big part of that. Nash puts the ball in the hands of Trickett, back for Nash. Nash now up over the floor. Nash outside for Fleming. That one's going to be thrown away to O'Halloran in the corner. Couldn't get a handle on that one. Matt Torville for the Vikings. Torville for Bunley, and that one's tipped out of bounds by A.J. Nash. Still be Gonzaga ball. Orville over for Diego Bunlin. Inside for Oliver. Three guards on the floor now for Gonzaga. Oliver in the corner. 
under some pressure, puts it up, can't get it to fall, though, rebounded by Connor Nash. Nash brings it out now, puts it in the hands of Trickett. Trickett to the corner, finds Zach Hanlon, Hanlon back for Trickett. Trickett drives, good defense there by Dorgerga, but that one's turned over, back in the hands for Trickett. Trickett, under a lot of pressure there, Trickett goes up and he will earn his uh, a trip to the charity stripe. Trickett will go to the line to shoot two with 104 left and a chance to bring this lead down to single digits. Gonzaga were up by 20 at one point in this, this one. Colin Connors into the game now. He'll take out Andrew DeGerga. Connors a good defensive player indeed. Trickett at the line. He'll knock it down. We are at a 10 point lead here now. One minute left in the third quarter. Shot from the outside. From Liam, can't grab it. Childs gets the rebound though. And for Oliver. Oliver outside for Torville. Now Torville goes over for Childs. Childs threatens to go inside. Got to kick it back out for Torville instead. Play ball called. They're going to have to get one up. And that is going to be a shot clock violation. Good defense here, and whatever's happened in the last three, four minutes, this game has turned, and it's now all O'Donnell. Everything going to Patriots' way. They were just in a big, big hole, and now they've got a little bit of time to crawl out of it. Here's A.J. Nash into the corner for Trickett. Trickett for three. Can't knock that one down. That would have been something if he had to make that one. From Lane. Carrying the ball on the outside. O'Donnell with a 3-2 press. Kicks it out for Torville. Torville can't hang on to that one. Torville puts up a, a little bit of an ugly shot on the inside. We'll have a jump ball violation. Possession error goes in favor of O'Donnell. Sorry of Gonzaga, they'll keep possession. Gonzaga, Torville on the inside, gonna put it out in the hands of Von Liam. Von Liam to Childs, Childs. Kicks it outside for Torville from way outside. That one's gonna catch the rim and that'll do it. So, it looked like Gonzaga might be going away with this one in style, but a great run here by the Patriots. And O'Donnell have cut the lead to 10. Fourth quarter coming up, you're watching the Hall of Fame Cup on 5 TV1. So fourth quarter underway, O'Donnell will take the ball, trying to continue where they left off there at the end of quarter three. Back to the offense, here's Cody O'Halloran. O'Halloran with the floater in the lane and that one will drop for O'Donnell and they have got to within single digits in this one. Connors turned over, stolen. Here's Fleming, 
Fleming in transition. That's going to be called a travel. A little stutter step by Fleming on that one. He knew it too. Big smile on his face. Comes back down the floor. Where has the offense gone for Gonzaga? Well, they've got a free, some free fouls to give now. They're not in the bonus to start off this quarter, so that helps. Andrew Pritchett getting called for the reaching in foul there. Sorry, Gabriel Trickett. Ibe Uda on the inbounds. Puts the ball in the hands of Unlean. Up for Connors. Connors to Diego Bunlean. Out for Ibe Uda up top. Uda, ball to the paint. Uda, strong move, gets it to go. And finally, Gonzago, it seems like their first bucket in an eternity. Puts it down the floor now for AJ Nash. In for Gabriel Trickett. Trickett drives, Trickett up and under. Good basket there. By the Patriots, number 23, Gabriel Trickett. Uda. And it seems like the key for O'Donnell is the stifling defense. It really wasn't a factor early on, but now they've really stepped up their game a notch on defense. Child's on the inside. Child's going to kick it out for Uda. Uda outside for three. Can't get that one to drop, and that one's going to fall out of bounds. That will be O'Donnell ball. Certainly a rise in the energy level here for the O'Donnell Patriots. Zach Hanlon in for Tricka. Tricka can't hold on to that one. Away comes Bunley in for Gonzaga. In for Uda. Uda in the paint. Uda running out of room. Kicks it out for Connors. Connors for three. Connors can't knock that one down. Connor Nash is going to pull down the rebound for O'Donnell. Here's Nash. Nash into the paint. Nash drives. Foul's going to be called on the floor, but it will go against Gonzaga once again. That's going to be Khalifa's call. Hashem Khalifa with the call. Backcock comes out of the game. Trickett goes to sit down. And you got to think that it's not going to be long before they get Trickett back into this game. He's had a game for O'Donnell indeed. Khalifa. Going to go to the bench as well. That's going to bring Dorgerga back into the game for Gonzaga. Nash on the inbounds. Puts it in for Cam O'Halloran. Outside for Hanlon. Zach Hanlon for Backcock. Backcock shot. Can't drop. A.J. Nash gets it. A.J. Nash. Fancy pass there, but that just became a fancy giveaway. Five Uda coming away with it for Gonzaga. Out for Connors. Connors. Back to Uda. Uda. Wide open look there for Diego Bonin. He can't get it to drop, though. And here comes A.J. Nash. Here's Nash. Now Nash in for... The inbounds, O'Halloran, O'Halloran, interesting drive to the paint, but O'Halloran manages to knock it down. And O'Donnell are back within six. What a comeback here by the Patriots. Childs, outside of Unleen, good pass on the inside, wide open bucket there for Andrew Dugurga of Gonzaga. Gonzaga have not had a lot of easy buckets here lately. O'Halloran for three from way outside. That one's not going to fall. Rebound pulled down by DeGurga. Puts it in the hands of Ibe Uda. Uda. Travis. Sorry, that's some great defense there by Connor Nash. Nash puts the ball on the floor for O'Halloran. O'Halloran launches it for three again. Not going to fall. O'Halloran is short. Gonzaga. Going to pack down the floor. Uda. Inside now for Gerga. He's going to get called for the push off there. And once again, it's O'Halloran taking the charge. Cam O'Halloran is a pro at taking that charge in the paint. And I'd really be curious to see what the foul situation is. There's got to be guys in trouble over in that Gonzaga sideline. Trick it for O'Halloran. O'Halloran. The outside for Fleming. Fleming shot well short. And away comes Gonzaga's Torville. Torville 
Into the corner for Bun Lee and Bun Lee and drives to the paint. That one's thrown away. Connor saves it on the other side. Good defense there by O'Donnell. Ball kicked out of bounds though. It'll still be Gonzaga ball. On the inbounds, here's Torville for three from beyond the arc. Matt Torville with a big shot there for the Vikings. It seems like whenever Gonzaga's in trouble, Torville is the guy they go to. Trickett from outside, Trickett comes down and answers back for O'Donnell. Back to back threes on both ends of the floor. Here's Uda for Bun Lee and inside for Dugurga. Gurga spins, fires, can't get it to drop though. Rebounded by Cam O'Halloran. O'Halloran's going to try to go coast to coast like butter toast. And O'Halloran goes in and gets the hoop and the harm. Cam O'Halloran getting it done for the Patriots. 535 left to go. And O'Donnell within six with O'Halloran going to the line to shoot the and one. Five thirty-five left to go. Lots of time in this one. You see O'Halloran sinks it from the line. Torville for Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen to the outside for Childs. Childs mid-range jump shot pulls up, knocks it down. Easy peasy says Childs on that one. AJ Nash now going to bring the ball up the floor for Gonzaga. You see. The Vikings sitting back now on defense. They weren't doing that earlier and having great success on the pressure, but I guess the foul situation is probably dictated. They can't be as aggressive anymore. Approaching the five minute mark, 73-66 the score here. Connor Nash picks the ball up. Good steal there by Trickett. Nash in the paint, kicks one outside for Trickett. Trickett, bounce pass stolen by Colin Connors. Good job by Connors in the left hand layup goes in and knocks it down for Gonzaga. Colin Connors with a timely steal. Connor Nash now behind the back dribble, puts it in the hands of O'Halloran. Trying to find AJ Nash down low as Backcock. Backcock shielded himself from that one. We're going to have a timeout call. Looks like it's going to be timeout Gonzaga. Coach Kareen getting his charges back into place. 434 left to go in this fourth quarter. Gonzaga 75. O'Donnell 66. Stick with us. We'll be right back. All right, back ready to go. It's gonna be O'Donnell ball underneath the Gonzaga basket. 4.34 left to go. Here's Cam O'Halloran. O'Halloran puts one up, not gonna fall. Ben Oliver with the rebound. Pushes it for Torville. Torville on the inside. Torville with some great English on that shot. And Matt Torville finds a way to get it done. 
Nash. Kicks it outside for Cam O'Halloran. O'Halloran for three, knocks it down. Is Cam O'Halloran on the outside? He is fielding it for O'Donnell. Diego Benlin steps on that two point line. Rebound grabbed inside for O'Halloran. O'Halloran finds AJ Nash. Nash is going to carry it down the floor for O'Halloran. In for Connor Backcock. Backcock bounce pass in for Leg. O'Donnell certainly got their players on the floor now. This is the five best they have to offer, I got to think. Leg, though, started the game hot, falling a little bit cold, and he's going to be taken out by Connor Nash. And Leg, not happy he missed that shot. Good effort, though, by the young man. Torville. Inside for Childs. Childs takes a running jumper there. And we got a big battle for the ball between Connor Nash and Colin Connors. That's going to be a loose ball. Arrow, and that will go in favor of the Vikings. Torville. For Childs. Childs back to Torville. Torville steps back beyond the arc. Knocks it down. That's only a two-point shot, says the official. But Torville feeling it now on the offense. Traveling the call by Badcock, and this is what's going to kill the Patriots. Unneeded turnovers especially when Torval and the Vikings are starting to score again. 10 point ball game. Bunlean in for Oliver. Oliver back to Bunlean. Bunlean drives, penetrates in for Carroll. Wide open outside for Childs. Childs gets the bounce and gets it to drop. And that could be a dagger for O'Donnell. Nathan Childs from beyond the arc knocks it down for three. Gonzaga up by 13, timeout Patriots. So getting back to this one, a little update of the scores around the court. Looks like Holy Heart are gonna go away with some relatively ease, a 31 point win over Waterford Valley in the other boys semifinal. We got O'Donnell and Gonzaga tangled up here. Having a quick look on the girls side, a preview of our championship games this afternoon. Waterford Valley Warriors will be there. They have their game well in hand, but the other ladies semifinal game is a Looks like a 12 point affair with 149 to go. So yeah, over there are the Holy Trinity Tigers looking to upset the Holy Heart of Mary Highlanders. So Holy Trinity looking to book a date with Waterford Valley in the final. First time for Holy Trinity in the Hall of Fame Cup final in quite some time and maybe possibly ever. Connors out for Oliver. Oliver kicks it to a wide open Childs. Childs stops, pops, shoots, he's fouled. And that's likely going to be a three-point shot situation. And I got to think if Childs can knock these down, that is probably going to do it for O'Donnell. They have been game here today, though. O'Donnell at one point down by 20. It's battled all the way back to close the gap to six. But here we are, 2.32 left to go, and it's 82-69. Another timeout call. O'Donnell trying to figure out what kind of rabbit they can pull out of their hat. Stick with us. We'll be right back.
Nathan Childs now going to step up to the three point to the sorry the free throw line after being fouled from the three point line. He will shoot three for Gonzaga. One or two so far from the line. Childs now with his last opportunity. This gym is filling up as the game's on both sides now. The other boys' semifinal is over. 83-69 here. O'Donnell need to put some quick points on the board. Connor Nash from the outside. Nash drives the paint. Nash can't get the foul. Big rebound there by Backcock coming inside. And Connor Nash is gonna go to the line for O'Donnell. Some heavy lobbying and officiating by the o O'Donnell coach Cameron Tobin there in the last timeout and he's probably bought himself a call on this one. Nash goes to the line, he'll knock that one down. Nash can't get number two to fall. Colin Connors will pick it up and bring it down the floor for Gonzaga. Torville challenges in the paint. Torville in around Torville. Acrobatic shot up and down by Matt Torville. Getting the job done for the Vikings. O'Halloran. Outside for Nash, Connor Nash from way outside for three. That one's not gonna fall. Not too surprised to see that. As you gotta think O'Donnell's gotta start getting some big points up very, very quickly. And here comes the foul parade. Connor Nash steps out on Torville. And I gotta think that if they're gonna foul someone, Torville's not the guy you want on the line, but he's probably the guy they wanna foul. No love lost there between Torville and the the Patriots. Connors now on the outside. Colin Connors picks up his dribble. He needs someone to come take it from him. Connors inside for Ben Roberts now. Ben Oliver, sorry, outside for Childs. Childs, wide open shot for three. Nathan Childs knocks it down. And that ought to do it. You see some of the Gonzaga players coming off the bench saying it is over and Perhaps they are right, and that's going to send the fans to the exits here at the Powerplex this morning. Checking on our girls game. Looks like, indeed, the Holy Trinity Tigers going to move on to play Waterford Valley on the female side this afternoon. And on the male side, it's certainly looking like it's going to be the Gonzaga Vikings. And Holy Heart of Mary once again, probably the third year in a row perhaps for those two, no, second year in a row for those two teams in the final. Can't discount those great teams coming out of Cornerbrook in the last few years. Both championship games will be brought to you live on 5 TV one from the old Munn Gym. One o'clock for the ladies, three o'clock for boys. Join us. I will have the call of those games this afternoon. And our great, great camera work of Daryl the Axe Redmond. And Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch of Tristram and Ty. 123 left to go. 88-70. Pretty much a formality in this one now to go out with the legs back in the game for O'Donnell. See if O'Donnell can get a couple of quick strikes for three. That's the guy who they want. In his hands, here's leg, leg from outside. Can't get the drop, Backcock couldn't squeeze the rebound on that. Goes in the hands of Torville, Torville for Oliver. Oliver almost turns it over. Leg doing everything he can to turn it over. Here's Nash on the outside. Nash leans on Torville a little bit too much there. And that's gonna be a foul. And I believe that might put Gonzaga into the bonus. And yes, indeed it does. The referee's whistle's getting a workout here at the Powerplex this morning. Lots of fouls to call and lots of fouls to give. Torval hits the first shot from the line. Looking to extend the lead to the biggest of the game at 20 for Gonzaga. 
Quite the run though by O'Donnell at the end of that third quarter. Last four minutes of that third quarter and the first couple of this one proved to be very entertaining. Patriots trying to come away. Shot's gonna fall short. Torville looks up the clock. We're in the final minute. Torville's just gonna try to eat up some clock on this one. And O'Donnell sense it now. No sense of urgency to come out and commit the foul. Torville pushing off now. He used his arm to get around Hanlon. That foul is going to be called against Torville. It'll be O'Donnell ball. O'Halloran trying to drive past Diego Bonilla. O'Halloran into the paint. O'Halloran just flails one up. Bonilla is going to commit that foul. 32 seconds left to go here. So championship Sunday, the Hall of Fame Cup, the storm, the much maligned storm delayed, weather delayed, exam delayed, everything delayed. Hall of Fame Cup this year, but they managed to get it off the ground. What a job by the volunteers and the committee for the NLBHA, to, sorry, the Newfoundland Labrador Basketball Association to get this thing going. Judy Byrne and her staff once again putting off a great event of high school basketball here in Newfoundland and Labrador. And we are seeing the fruits of their label on the course here over the weekend. Using all kinds of gyms and areas here in the greater St. John's region. Normally just a one venue event, but due to the major snowstorm and high school exams, it was quite a job to get this tournament off the ground. So hats off to everybody who did indeed. And that's going to do it. Final score in this one, Gonzaga Vikings 90, the O'Donnell Patriots 70. Don't be fooled, folks. O'Donnell were in this one right up to the fourth quarter. Great job by them, but Championship Sunday is now set. It will be O'Donnell, it will be Waterford Valley and Holy Trinity in the ladies' final, and in the boys' final, it will be O'Donnell. Sorry, it'll be Holy Heart and Gonzaga. For Dow Redmond, I'm Steve Power. Please join us this afternoon for the finals of the Hall of Fame Cup. Brought to you exclusively by Five TV One. Thanks for joining us.